the best hip hop talk shit in the whole planet. What it good be? Hope this is what it should be. This your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. This drink chest motherfucking yappy hour. Make some noise! Right now, when we talk about legends, we talk about a man who's been consistent since the '90s. Kept it out there. Kept it going. When I googled him, this was kind of crazy today. Was well, it was kind of crazy today. Was I didn't realize how many people you were beefing with. Like, <laughs> I, I definitely didn't realize. I was like, wow, like she just kept leading me to other shit and other shit. But anyway, let's get back to. I mean, the man is a. I can, we can't call him a. He's a super legend. You know, when you, I, you, you could really say this, but when you think of a city, you think of a man that was there. Like that's that's who he's there, yep. holding down the whole city. And just keep getting better and better and better and better. And at first, like, I was like, what the, what, what's going on here? <laughs> you realize he's saying shit. It's not, you know, you know what I mean? And so in case you don't fucking know who the fuck we talking about, we talking about the one, the only, motherfucking Twister, make some <laughs> Now, Twister, I, yo, you literally got songs with everybody. Yeah. Literally. Hey, let's get the champagne. Let's get the champagne going. We out here looking crazy, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no. We out here doing... So you, but you got songs with everybody. Yeah, it's a bunch of people, man. So, so what is that? Like, are you, do you like collaborating? Is that something that's... that's, that's, that's um... Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I love collaborating. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, just off the top. Just, just mm-hmm. you know, because it's, it's my craft. I like doing it. Right. But the other thing, too, is like you got a lot of people that won't get on a song for a particular reason or they, they might think it's not dope you. or something like that. No, no, I'm okay. talking about like they can't when they collaborating with, with, with somebody else, um. they might uh, not want to do a song because they don't like it. But me, like I'll hear a song and... I'll find a way or reason to be able to do it and still pull out of it what I want to. So right. that's one of the reasons I do a lot of collabos. Mm, mm. Now, what's your favorite thing, uh, collab? Was it rappers or uh, R&B singers? Because you got both equally. Ooh, that's a hard one. Probably, mm. probably rappers. You know, mm. you know, because I get to go, you know, back and forth with somebody, mm. and then a lot of times you still have an R&B singer on there too. Right. So, so probably rappers. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's take it back. West Side Chicago, right? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, I got notes and shit. K-Town area? Yeah. So let, let's, 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 let's take us to there. Yeah. You in uh, K-Town area, and mm-hmm. this is where you start? This is where you develop? Because I, I heard they said that you learned it through a, a, a stereo. You was listening to hip-hop, and you, you felt like... like what's the earliest stuff yeah. you, were, you, were, you were hearing? The, the, the earliest stuff? That inspired um, you? Mm-hmm. I mean, really, like listening to, see, I was on the west side of Chicago, but we we had a HPK. This was a college radio station, mm, mm. JP Chill on, on, the, on the south side, and he played mm. a lot of hip hop. And, you know, the, the the Mecca, you know, New York. It was a lot of stuff I right. was listening to, as well as a bunch of artists uh, on, on the south side of Chicago, people like DA Smart, a bunch of people mm. doing their thing. And uh, so that's how I really, really got into it mm-hmm. and really got like advanced mm. because I was able to hear a lot of records that a lot of people wouldn't have heard if JP Chill wasn't playing them joints. Mm. So, so so I was just really... He had right. a manager, Eric DeWiz, right, too, right? Early yeah. on? Yeah. Okay, and he worked for the radio station. Yeah, he was working okay. for the radio station at the time. And you took you do you, how like because like I just asked Pat Poost this uh-huh. because he kind of got on through K Slay and K Slay was working for Hot 97. So I always thought that that was a plus for Pat Poost. He was telling me that was a negative because people always would be like, "Well, you K Slay boy, you don't need my help." Yeah, you, I mean, it, it definitely was uh some hurdles in there. You know, mm-hmm. it was some hurdles, mm-hmm. but a lot of it was just being from from the city, being from mm-hmm. Chicago. New to mm-hmm. the game, learning mm-hmm. it, you know, not mm-hmm. not really being accepted. There wasn't a lot of artists signed from artists. Chicago yeah, at the yeah, time, yeah, the hip hop yeah, artists. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, we was new, you know, coming right. from the city, you know. Mm-hmm. So like, let's, let's go. Do you wanna ride in the back seat of my car in Japan? I wouldn't do one down. Yo, y'all yeah. nigga, I thought y'all nigga were pimps. Like y'all nigga, what, what, <laughs> yo, what was going on? Like in New York, we ain't see that shit. So we like, what the fuck is what these niggas? Man, style? we was we was around them a lot, man. You mm-hmm. had you had Bishop, mm-hmm. Bishop That's Magic right, Wan Bishop was from yeah. So him being from Chicago, uh-huh. we was coming outside. He was mm-hmm. on Madison Street. We seeing them every day. Mm-hmm. You know, so him, a lot of the guys around. You know, it was mm-hmm. just the vibe, and then the music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was. 
a lot of, a lot with the music. Then my man AK from Do or Die, he was mm. the one that you know came to me with the song. Like let's you know like I want you to jump on this song. So mm. so it was just the vibe that we was on at the time. You know. God damn it. You ever pimped? No, nah, I ain't pimped. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't what, got it. In. What a question. <laughs> I mean, I ain't got it in me. I tried for a half an hour. It didn't work. For a half hour? Yeah, half hour. No, I, I ain't got that one in me. Now, Tristan, we, we, don't, we know you're in the gun camp and all that, but today mm. we want you to know this is Drink Champs. This is what about we celebrate our artists. It's about time you get your motherfucking flowers. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you, man. We, we're going to drink some champagne with you. We, we, look, you just told us you're a pimping player, at least, in the, <laughs> at least in your mind a little bit, right? Me too. I, uh, it, don't, it don't work for me, but we're going to celebrate you. We're going to drink up this goddamn champagne. You're going to have some drinks with me, goddamn. Oh, man. man. Come on now. I, I might take one. Come on, so. come on now. Come on now. Oh, shit. You know, you know the name of the show is called Drink Champs, right? I don't know yeah, if they I ever know. told us. Yeah. <laughs> I never told you, hey, but let me pour you up. Let me pour you up. Come on. Yeah. Let me pour you up. So what you been up to? Man, man. You already know, man. Mm -hmm. Just doing doing a lot of a mm -hmm. lot of lot of instructing, a lot of shooting, right. you know. Right. Uh still doing my music thing. Right. You know. Got some businesses going. Uh -huh. You know, still out here moving around and, and, and enjoying my life. You know, trying to uh how you adapting you know? to social media? Um, it was crazy at first, I think for everybody, but right. You know, I came along. I think, I think once you really are passionate about something, you know, for for because people, we, we had, you came like from the like the chitlin circuit, like you know, like when niggas like that was the real chitlin circuit. Yeah, like, from the like same. When we had to like <laughs> you had to actually go to the clubs to get these fans. Exactly. Now you can just go online and get these fans. Are you cool with that? Is that him? Hey, take you guys to get a drink though. So I, I think just, it's a. You gotta take I a think sip it's or a. Something. Come on, what is going on here? Come on, I, I'll, I'll take one. I'll take one. But go ahead, you adapting to um you adapting to I think um mm -hmm. I think with with early on, mm -hmm. like technology, you know, we couldn't get to it. Right. So and then you had a few people, mm -hmm. you know, you had a few artists, you ain't you didn't have a lot of people to battle with, but it was hard to get to the technology. Right. But then I think once we got to it, right. you had everybody doing it. Right. So I think, you know, it's kind of hand in hand. Like I don't think one way is harder than the other. I think right. Right now, it's e like it's easier to promote yourself, but you got to promote yourself next to the person, next to the person, next to the person. Right, so, you can get so lost that much harder. Because you, you know? got caught in that shit too, right? You dissed Precious, remember? I dissed who? Precious. Nah, it wasn't me, man. <laughs> you know. the, the, the actress? It, it, yeah, you remember? Yeah, it remember. wasn't me. Yeah, I remember the situation that happened. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, what happened with yeah, that situation? You know, something was going on with my social media. Uh -huh. You know, some, some, okay. some, some people was working with social media okay. at the time and, and uh, got a little too loose with, right. with the fingers, you know, because, right. right. you know, that definitely ain't my vibe, you right. know, right. for sure. You know, and then, you know, a lot of the true fans, they already know, oh, no, that wasn't Twister, that wasn't Twister, mm -hmm. so... You know, you know, my apologies to her too. I did apologize, but yeah, that wasn't okay. my vibe. Let's make some noise for that. Yeah. Make some noise for that. <laughs> no, but let, let's go back. How did you get into chopping? Like, what yeah, inspired you to I didn't start know that was rhyming chopping. as fast as you started rhyming? Yeah. Um, you know, you might have different different names for it, but uh, I just got into it really just just early on, want to switch up the style a little bit. You know, everybody doing like punchlines, metaphors. I'm like. But I was like rhythmical with it, so I wanted to just do something different. So I started just playing with the cadence right. and stuff like that. Then it would be like a spurt here, then a spurt there. Then one day I just decided I want to make a whole song like that. You know, you start hearing other rappers doing what you're doing a little bit too. You know, right, so I'm right. like, damn, okay, let me make a whole verse like this. Mm -hmm. You know, so then I made this verse called Mr. Tongue Twister. Then that's when everybody that started calling that, yeah, yeah, Tongue Twister. Tongue -twister. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, you know, then I just dropped a uh, tongue call it Twister, you know. Right. So. The other rappers, they, they were young. You was tongue. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> you know, you know that's just, that little young song. That, that you ain't what I said, but... Here. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, let me make some noise. <laughs> so, <laughs> did, did you and the dude from Fushnikens ever battle? I don't know why I keep feeling like I heard that. No, we didn't We didn't actually battle, but me and him, we had that vibe. Like, like he was spitting on his level. I was spitting on my level. We saw each other at... Uh, it was one of the one of I think it was uh, in San Francisco one of the big conventions or, or, or rap or like things the that rap they used to have or something yeah, like that. yeah one, one of them things they had right. back in the days and we saw each other and just yeah chip food yeah yeah but uh, you know we caught that vibe but we ended up chopping it up you know right. so so we never got a chance to do a record together but you know we still probably end up doing something but yeah right. chip food we we actually had a little fear for each other I was yeah. listening to that style I was like damn this nigga killing it. Then he was listening to me like, ooh, shorty killing, you know, so we chopped it up about that a little bit. That was funny. That's dope. So let's just be clear. Mm. You was the first fastest 
tongue nigga in the world. Man, hip hop. It's debatable, man. It's debatable. Okay, I feel like you're being too humble, so I'm going to let you say that. But <laughs> why is it debatable? Let me hear that. You got people that feel other people started. Like, you know, you got you got some people feel Bone Thugs and Harmony started it. Some people feel Tretch started it. Then you got I can go back further than that with records like uh, Jay Z and Jazzo doing Originators. Records like that. Uh, LL doing records like Why nah, You Think They Jay-Z Call It Dope. And Jazzo, that was. That was almost two thousand. No, no, not not the first time. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty back there. Original originators is two thousand. Yeah, that's two thousand. Nah, two thousand. That's after. That's after. Yeah. Nah, I don't. Nah, that's way further back than that. No. Yeah, yeah, it goes back. Original flavor, but that's not what he just said. He just said uh, originators. That was what. Well, you think about that record? Yeah, but nah, but he's but he's talking about probably when they was didn't did it before. I just think you know it was it was a time frame. I think everybody was dabbling in it, right? And everybody wanted to claim it, you know. So, but then the Guinness Book of World Records came and said, "This is that nigga." Yeah, that's what happened. You know. (laughs) Come on. How did that that feel? Like what? What what kind of? Because you know we like we getting plaques and. You know what I mean? Like, but how did that feel when the Guinness Book of World Records called you? Like, who who gives you that call? Your manager? Who I was on that? I was on Loud Records at the time. Mm. You know, Loud Records. Steve Rifkin. Steve Rifkin. Mm. Yeah. What a roster! And uh, it was Fade, my man Fade Dunaway. Mm. Mm. He was there at the time, and he told me, "Man, you know it's this record uh, in the Guinness Book for right. the for the world's what, what, fastest 500 rapper." Six syllables and like yeah. fifty six. It was about seconds, like it? yeah, like five hundred some syllables. In 60 seconds. Some different shit. So I, was I don't like, even know what that technically yeah. means. Uh, yeah, I was, just know it's some smart shit. That's yeah, some fast shit. It's some fast uh-huh. shit. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. what it yeah. was. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, uh-huh. it was like a gift to me. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, shit. You know, it was the perfect promotion tool for me. So I got in there, you know, try to see where I was at with it. You mm-hmm. know, I said, okay, I'm going to stop at 600 syllables in 60 seconds. Wow. So I was off about two syllables, but it was cool. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Makes it nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did that, did that get every other rapper who thought that they were fast off of you, or did it, that made people want to challenge you more? Um, probably later on, because, the, the, you know, nobody really broke the record for a long time. Like, by the time somebody started messing with it, was, I was, like, out of there with it. So, okay. so for a long time, people really uh, respected it, I think, right. you know. So yeah. who broke the record? I forgot the shorty name. One, one of them shorties. You don't yeah. Know the person's name? Yeah, I don't know, man. I was, <laughs> I, I was, I was on to making records and, and, and doing other things by then. So, uh-huh. so, and that's what I wanted. I actually wanted somebody to come. Mm-hmm. Like I stopped that six hundred syllables right. because I knew I could go further, but I stopped. Nobody never challenged the record, so you know I just wrote it out and I got into making music. You know. Now, yeah. how did so? You, I, I I loved how you just said um, when I asked you. The inventors of this style. And mm-hmm. you, did, you did say trash. You said some people say trash. Mm-hmm. But you said some people say bone. Yeah. What if you had to say? Because I, I want to talk about you know y'all discrepancies as well. Me being honest with it. Yeah. Me, be, me being honest with it. Like I said, you got you got like like rap is developing at this time. Right. You know, people people are getting more advanced with it, like right. playing with they shit a little bit. Right. And I just think. I think it was growing in everywhere. It's early bit. 90s, I think, you're thinking, yeah, right? Yeah, early 90s, yeah. and I think everybody was kind of playing with the right. style a little bit and coming up with a way to switch the cadence up. And I just think you had people doing it in, 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 in they respected areas, right. you know, where right. they was at, and, and you know. Because we had Kanye on here, and I think he, that's what he said. He said that was the only difference between um, Jay-Z and Nas is that Jay-Z knows how to chop and Nas knows how to chop. And I really didn't understand until I'm mm. actually going, and I was like, oh, that's what y'all really call it. So... You did, did, because what year you came out? 90, 90, like a uh, 91, something 91, like that. 91, right? Yeah, yeah. And if they would say Tretch, then that means Tretch. Tretch and them was late 80s, right? They really were? I thought, Tretch I mean, remember was... they had the group before. I mean, if you're counting the group before Naughty, it was a group before. Yeah, they, they talked about it with us. Man, I forgot. What? What? What group are you talking about? They had a group. They they had a different name. Some somebody oh, pulled it okay. up. Yeah, okay, yeah okay, a okay. different name for the group before okay, it was gotcha, Naughty by gotcha, Nature. Gotcha. And then, then you said Bone Thugs. Yeah, yeah. Now wouldn't Bone come out? If you came out ninety one, Bone came out. Man, but yeah, come on. I don't know, man. I think they came out ninety four, right? Bone, yeah, Bone was definitely ninety. Uh, it had 94? to be ninety four, ninety five. 
94? Okay. So, and you was using that style on record in, in 91? Yeah, I mean, if, if you yeah. we're talking about even Fushnikins, that's way early 90s. As yeah, well, that's I what, like 92? Exactly. What year was it, Rob? What? What would you say? Yeah, 92 Fushnikins, you see? So if we go on by just Google right now, mm -hmm. you coming out in 91. Yeah, 91, 92 in there. Yeah. 91, 92. I hadn't heard that style until you came out. Well, you know, I think I think uh, I put a stamp on it, you know. I think I put my foot in it, you know. So you asking who invented it or who did, you know, you got different versions of it. I just, I might consider myself the Michael Jordan version of it, but... Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. So, okay. 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 Talk that shit, baby. Come on, talk that shit. Go ahead. But but like you said, people could have been doing it in their city way before anybody heard it. Yeah. That's what kind of what you probably was saying. Like yeah, they could like, have been in their city everybody. bubbling yeah, yeah. there when nobody would have known, right? Now now, what's your relationship with Common? Me and Common are cool. Like, we don't talk a lot or, or anything, but when we see each other, you know, we always chop it up, you know, talk about a few things. Yeah, we cool. We, okay. we just got a cool relationship. Yeah. And what's, what's your relationship with the Young Drill uh, music uh, in, in Chi-Town? Man, it's usually cool all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. Some of them might call me unk, you know. Right. My, my guy Warhol might call me unk. What up, unk, you know. Right. So, so it's always... Uh, it's always cool, man. You know, right. sometimes they might ask me certain things or for advice, but most of the time they just look at me and call me OG. Man, what up, OG? What up, OG? You know, want me to come to the studio sometime, check them out, hop on a record or two here and there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff like that. God damn, make some noise for that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, 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 you was you was kicking it with R. Kelly for a, couple, for a minute, too. You was kicking it with me, too, man. <laughs> 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 he got you. Look at it. You can do it back on me. You see that? No, but I'm gonna literally when no, I'm no, with you, yeah. you got you got some records that yes, come sir. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. just you know, besides being funny, um, there wasn't nothing like that. But describe to the people who R was before we knew who R is. Man, that was the man. Yes. He was the, he was the man. Like. Mm -hmm. Like, it was debatable who was who was the greatest of all time. You might hear a lot of people say a bunch of things, but when you start lining them records up and what he put out and, and how he was doing it and the live performances and mm -hmm. the songs that he wrote uh, for other people, mm -hmm. stuff like that, like his body of work and what he was doing and, and, and how much of a perfectionist he was. And, and man, mm -hmm. he was like one of the greatest, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and if you got a chance to work with him, you know, you, you felt solidified. You know, mm -hmm. you felt like, you was in the game, and you had get you know you got you a shot if you got a chance to work with R. Kelly, you know, mm -hmm. especially for your city because it was like to tell you the truth, but that was like the first artist like to break out, like to be national. Yeah, he was he was the man. He was yeah. the man in the city, man. Worldwide, like we, yeah. we we had yeah, it was we huge, had a huge mega star. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we can't make no noise for that because shit gonna get real with me too. So, so, so I mean, we're talking about we're gonna say mm -hmm, the career on, side you know of it. and move on. You can't make no noise for that one right there. It's, it's, it's awkward. It's just awkward. It's awkward. All right, goddamn, I got my... you brought it up, motherfucker. Hey man, <laughs> hey man, listen, I, listen, man. I, listen, because you're my friend, I still had to Google and do my due diligence of what's going on. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, all right, let's go. Oh, you also had you got a record with Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did that Make come a movie. About? Yep. Make a movie. Uh, just really wanted them on the joint. Yeah, that was a joint I wanted them on. Mm -hmm. Like like me, my crew. We just mutually decided at the time. I forgot what record we was listening to at the time, but we felt that it was dope if he seen that particular record. You know what yeah. I was? You know what I noticed about you? You make a lot of records for the females. A lot of people don't know that because you're so lyrical. You got away with being super hip hop. Like all the hip hop. Hip hoppers love you because you a hip hopper, but you you get away with doing some great singles that's for the ladies, and nobody yeah. calls you commercial. I think, man, you gotta have that. You gotta have it. You know, some yeah. some of the bigger artists, you know, they they mm -hmm. able to do that, and mm -hmm. it's nothing. That's they go gift, to they man. they go to they rap shit. They go mm -hmm. to, to that type of vibe. So so I mm -hmm. just think you gotta have it. That's one. Then two, I think it helps that my cadence is really. 
like that whole double time cadence is really an R and B or slow song type right. of cadence. Yeah. So I Melodic, think that kind of plays right. into it too. Mm. That you know, if I'm rapping on a certain tempo, mm-hmm. they fit on the same melodies that people sing songs on. Mm. So a lot of times, that's how a lot of those features came about too with, right. with me doing. And then just the songs in general that was like that. It was easy to put like R and B artists and singers on certain hooks. And, you know, right. it was the vibe. Did you did you ever question? Changing your style, or did anybody ever tell you, "Oh, this is already hell yeah, all gonna get old"? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, shit. Right, like rapping fast. Right. Yeah, you know the the first shit I heard, you know, because we we from Chicago, so ain't nobody accepted it. You know what right. I'm saying? So the first thing I'm rapping, boom, boom, boom. What's the first thing you think they said? Well, I'm rapping. Nobody hearing this shit yet, and I just come out rapping. <laughs> But they don't understand what you're saying? Get the fuck out of here with that oh. fast shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Get the fuck out of here with that fast shit. We don't know the fuck. You know, so that I had to deal with a lot of that. Then, you know, like just being from the city and we not really being accepted as artists, you know? Right. Like people look at us more as fans and shit. You know, they come there and rock out. Yeah, Chicago fans, they didn't really look at us right. too much as artists at the time. So I felt like, you know, How we just have to break R. into Kelly, it. You know? Kanye West. Common. Well, he's talking about, he's probably going further back. Oh, no, I'm going it. back when, remember, Maybe just like R. Kelly. Me, me and Common is like the first two yep. artists that, that pretty much came out. You the and way Common, we no idea as a producer. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we talking like. But no ID was in front line at that time. No, no, it was Common it was his main act. That's right, that's right, that's right, you're right. You're yeah. Right. That, I could, that I know. Yeah, and he, had, he still had Twilight Tone around too at the time. So, right. yeah. Yeah. So. And you saying so? We, so I don't understand. So you saying that Shy Town wasn't respected at that time, like music nah, wise? Come nah, on, no. Nah. Nah. You sound like EFN right it's now. The, it's the same thing I've been telling you, man. The what, same thing. Uh, what, let's see what he yeah, said. We, we, we wasn't said. accepted for not not like other genres of music, but rap shit. No, nah, huh. Chicago wasn't being heard. Not at the time I was trying to come out. Like we had, I was I was the artist that had to tell everybody right. Chicago was dope and that. It's motherfuckers here and wait till right. y'all come hear him. Like, I was the one that had to go out there and, and speak that shit. Right. You know, and then especially me being from like the west side of Chicago and not really having the same kind of hip hop vibe or hip hop style that most rappers have. Right. So it was right. double, double drama on my end trying to bust in the door. So I, I, I was one of the first artists I had to let them know about the city. That Chicago was slept on. Yeah, because he always yeah. says that about Miami. Like Miami was slept on. Every city outside of New York and maybe L.A. and Atlanta at some Look, point was slept I don't know, on. Man, Miami was killing it a little bit. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Two Life Crew. <laughs> that, yeah. but but early on, I'm talking about like in the hip hop industry. Like I okay. always talk about it that New York had a pigeonhole on at least the, the corporations, the record labels, the media. So they weren't looking at everybody else. They just wasn't allowing us in. Well, listen to this nigga. He's just a hater, dog. It's not a hater. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a hater, dog. <laughs> listen to hey, listen. The same but, thing he's saying is the same way we all fell down but here. I think, I think a, lot of, a lot of other cities felt like that at the time. A lot of other places felt like that at the time when early on because New York was the mecca of it. Right. And it was only going on there and everybody else was trying to do what New York was already right, doing. Right, exactly. So, so, so we share similar feelings in that aspect. So yeah. you ever felt like your city wasn't supporting you, though? Is it, it was harder for you in your city. Like it's, it's, it seems like everyone who makes it somewhere, they they try in their city, but then they actually go outside their city. I think early on, you face a lot of problems early on. Mm-hmm. Like even when I look at some of the younger cats, they face it a lot early on. Then at, at a certain point, they break through, mm-hmm. and then and then the city starts to accept them as as mm-hmm. you know uh, the ones like OGs or man, they put it on. You know, they put mm-hmm. the city on like that. But early on, a lot of times. When you coming coming from Chicago, you got to break through a lot of hate, mm. you know, and it might be close. It's, it's gonna be everywhere around you, so so you got to break through a lot of hate and know how to navigate when you come out of my city. Right. Yeah. What's my man? Um, that passed away. DJ um, Timbuktu, right? Yeah. Yeah. Timbuktu. yeah rest in peace yeah. to Timbuktu. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Was he was he a part of the team? No, he wasn't like right in the team, but uh-huh. he was definitely my man. Every time they, you know, have his events in Chicago, I try to go represent, right. you know, because they still do something every year for him, and everybody yeah. comes out and represents for him. Yeah, we went, yeah, we went yeah, out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ten Buck Two is still alive, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's make some noise for that, God damn it. We're right. yeah. so, so, you go in, is this, like, is, is, because Con- Con- Kanye produced both the records, right? For, um, when you say both the records, what you mean? The, uh, the two first singles. Um, um, 
as far as slow jams yep. and overnight celebrity. Right. Yeah. Now, you already knew Kanye as a producer or no? Or yeah, yeah, we already knew Kanye because okay. uh in the shop. Yeah, in the shop, okay. in the city. You okay. know, we, we already knew knew each other. You know, we one of my uh guys from back in the days named Tumchi, he knew all of the rappers. Right. And he was like, Man, let me introduce you to my man Kanye. And we used to see him up north rapping all the time. So you met him as a rapper first? Yeah, I met him as a oh. rapper first. Then oh. later on, me and Tumchi used to go to his house mm. as a producer. This is when he started to produce. I was That's like, crazy. Man, this beast is different. You know, I was right. noticing his music is different, right. you know, but it was way too early on, you know, before everything started you, you, happening. You, you can see those two records, um, your biggest record, your biggest songs or no? I would say two of my most important songs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah, yeah, most important. You know I gotta ask why. <laughs> why? I yeah. mean, see, for me coming up doing what I was doing, I, I, I felt like the, it, you know, it's always gifts, curse. The, one of the gifts that I felt like I got from putting effort into my lyrics, my wordplay, like mm -hmm. trying to make sure that I was making some shit that everybody was messing with, right. is other artists that would come up in the city would respect it, and at a certain point, they felt like, okay, if I'm coming out the city, it's gonna be the shit if I get my man Twist on the record. That's letting me know, like, boom, I'm representing Chicago when I do that. Mm. So that was one thing that was dope for me at that time frame where a lot of artists that was coming out the city, my man Cap One was like, man, I'm going to get it in with my man Twisted, you know, a yeah. bunch of people. Uh, um, so at this time, when I was doing the record with him, it was like <coughs> he was coming up in the game. I would see him sometime. I would run into him in the streets every once in a while. Like, I ran into him in the streets when he let me know that he produced uh, the Benny Siegel record. It was mm -hmm. the truth, right? I think, yeah, he was like, yeah, I just did something with Benny. Mm -hmm. You know, so he was like, I got this record, you know, called Slow Jams. I want you to get on it, you know. Boom, boom, boom. We was chopping it up about it. He was telling me the concept. So I was remembering, like, how I was going to put it together. I'm like, okay, I'm going to incorporate all of these different things. So, so you recorded shit. Slow Jams first? You know, or, or so we recorded first. Slow Jams first. Slow Jams first. Yeah, okay. Slow Jams first, yeah. So, and then I don't think Kanye, I mean, I don't think uh, Jamie Foxx was even thought about for the record yet. Yo, cause I, but that's crazy because, let's just be clear. Uh -huh. We didn't take Jamie Foxx serious at that time. So whose idea was it? Let's be real. Man. Let's be real. As a singer, you're you, saying. As a singer, that was the first record mm -hmm. that we looked, we said, like, I took him I, serious. Because, like, you know, we were looking at him like, Wanda, remember the character? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Come, come on, come on. <laughs> no, nah, he had done some movies like, already. I, I, I'm the oldest nigga here, right? No, he had made <laughs> no, movies no, already no, by no, that point, though. Color. But what I'm saying is, this is before Ray, right? This is before Ray. Or this is, yeah, definitely before Ray. This is before Ray. Yeah. So that song, single-handedly, was like, wait a minute, he killed that. Yeah, he killed it, yeah. Right, and who saw that was That was Kanye's idea. Like, that, wow. that whole thing, like, slow jams, you overnight celebrity. Like he, like, he trying to sabotage me. No, nah, at like, this time I knew I was I knew I was being uh I knew I was with, with who? the Jamie Foxx move with him saying like let's bring Jamie Foxx in at this time cuz we didn't, like I said no nah, I didn't, didn't I didn't know it it okay. wasn't a conversation I heard it before I I just heard the shit you know what I mean uh -huh. so I had did my verse and everything the song right. was what it was and he flew to LA ran into Jamie Foxx and they went in the studio then I got the phone call and then I heard the shit and I was right. like oh shit hmm. and that's right. when I knew it was old yeah. yeah. So you can rightfully say, like, Jamie Foxx is a star and was a star even then. Mm -hmm. But his music career was for Twister. He might have not been outside. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was it was yay idea, man. But right. we was I was definitely yeah, part of the record. You could have you know? said, I'm all right. Yeah. You could have <laughs> said, I'm all right. This is your record. Yeah. You could have said, I'm all right. Yeah. You did not. Yeah, I did not. You did not. You did. Especially you know, after you he heard it. <laughs> right. So nah. then, so y'all record, you said, you said, y'all you, you record Celebrity next. Yeah, we recorded Overnight Celebrity. So it's not, it's not the same session? Nah, two different sessions. The yeah. record came out, it's a hit. Then you go yeah. on to Celebrity. How does this happen? What are y'all doing? Well, when we do Overnight Celebrity? Yeah. Y'all in Man, Chicago? We, we, we already know we got one. This time, we moving around. You know, uh -huh. we, we got slow jams out there, so we moving around, and uh, we had the uh, we had the Overnight Celebrity idea. Mm. You know, it was actually a sample I wanted to use. Mm. So I told him, man, this the record I want to use. This, this this Lenny Williams record right here, man. This, mm. this you know, because I used to sample? remember. Yeah, I used to remember that record playing all this. co-produced this? If you want to say that, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but nah. <laughs> 
Nah, man, but I knew I knew that once he got his hand on a record like that with, with what he was doing with all of the soul music, right. that he was going to kill it. Right. So I gave him a record, and he actually said it kicked his ass for a minute. He was like, man, mm. it took me a minute to get this record the way I wanted to get it, mm. but I got it. And he was excited about it, then he sent it to me, and now I'm listening to it, and I was messing my head up because I'm like, damn. So now I felt the pressure mm. because we got the Slow Jams record out there, so I'm like, damn. But then, bam, I heard the hook on it. So he blessed me with a hook. That's all it took. Once I heard a little bit of something to go off, that was it. Boom, I started coming and with my case. label you on this time? This is not Job. No. This was uh, Atlantic, Atlantic Records. Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. My, um, Julie Green? No, no, no. Craig Cowman. All, all of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you named all okay. three of them. Okay, okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. All on point, motherfucker. Damn, what's going on? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ran up on me, man. I don't like it. Um, yeah. Oh, so, all right, quick time with Slime, but he's not drinking. No, but let's give him, let's give him his box. Where, yeah, where's where's it at? Come on. Where's it at? You know what I'm saying? We want you to know, man, we want to give you your flowers, man. While you're here, while you're alive, this is why we do shit. Our show is about bigging our legends up while they're alive. So we literally want to oh, give man, you your motherfucking you, real flowers, motherfucking twist. This dope as fuck, man. This is dope as fuck. You see it, you see it. Yeah, that's, that's dope. I appreciate that, man. That's love. That's love. Yeah, that's yeah. love. All right. All so right. we we usually play this game quick time with slime. Uh -huh. And this game, we gotta take shots. So if you ain't taking shots, one of your homies gotta take a shot for you. Who you recruiting? I mean, I think, Bam! Right, Who you come recruiting? On, come on. Come on. Come on. That's DJ Tight Mike right there. Right. Oh, Tight Mike ready. Come on. Uh, come on. He ready. I saw I saw him get ready. You already know. <laughs> Pull up a check, bro. <laughs> okay. There you I go. Take that shot. Okay. What's oh, it's going not. On? It's more than one, sir. What you drink? Yeah. It's more than one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. What you uh oh. With, yeah. Try to do say. Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ooh. That's right. Ooh. Damn, right. Lee, you slipping. What happened to do say right here? All, All right. What you say? So I'm gonna give you two choices. All right. All right. You can say both. Then your man got to drink. Well, we drink with him. Yeah, we drink. We drink with him, so he ain't gonna leave him out there. I know what's happening. If, yeah, if if you say yeah, I know what's happening. Yeah, man, if it's politically drink. correct, we got to yeah, drink. Yeah, it's politically correct. This is, this is what about. I'm gonna give you two tough choices. When you say both, that's what makes us drink. But both, both or neither. Or neither. Yes. These be rough. I'm gonna drink some Japanese. You should take a shot or two, though, Twister. Come on, goddamn it. I might take a shot. Come on, yeah, take a shot or two. Don't leave your man out there like that. All right, cool. <laughs> I <get it. laughs> Don't leave him hey, they got you the big cup too, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nah, give him a shot. Nah, give him a little cup. Give him a little cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, nah, nah. Yeah, we ain't gonna yeah, do it like that. Cup. You can get, yeah, and you got one of you. Go. You got one already in front of you. Twist it just in case you want. One. Boom, just right in case. there. Boom. All right. You ready? Yeah. I'm asking you. Ready? This shit's be rough. DMX or Tupac? Damn, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Damn, that's rough. Relax, man. buddy. <laughs> Damn. And it's whatever criteria that I'm you tell got. You it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. I'm going to tell you, though. I'm going to go for Tupac. I'm going to okay. tell you why, though. Because I actually got a chance to meet this brother. That's wow. why. You know, I met him on two occasions. One occasion, I, I did a show in L.A., and uh, it was with Digital Underground. Wow. Which is this week's yeah, episode. It was with Digital <laughs> Underground. Right. I got a chance to say what's up to Shock G. Mm. Looked over to the cut, saw Tupac you sitting early on the steps. That's early yeah. Pac. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah, I saw him sitting on the steps chilling. I'm like, damn, okay, boom. So I ain't say nothing to him then. Then I seen him again by the bar. We walked up to each other. He was like, man, they told me to come chop it up with you when I come to Chicago. Wow. You know, boom. Then we hollered again. The, the second time I met him, he had the fucking juice hoodie on. Mm. The same, the, the, the juice hoodie on. So, you know, I got a chance to meet him, and that made me engage with his music in a certain way. But I definitely feel like DMX is the shit, you know. Yeah, but right. just just for the sake of this, I'm going to go with Pac because I got a chance to meet him. I ain't really get a chance to chop you it up with DMX? I never got a chance. Yeah. I saw him in person. Right. We was at an award show okay. passing by, but, but I ain't never get a chance to chop it up with him. Oh, that's crazy. Know? I'm the exact opposite. I never got to meet Pac. Wow. I got to chop it up with X. Wow. That's crazy. A whole lot. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. Eminem or Buster Rhymes? Damn. Whatever criteria you want. Oh, he's drinking already. Are oh, you drinking? Oh, okay. I had to take a shot on that. Okay. 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 All right, cool. Cheers. Take a shot. Yeah, come on. 
you know, I ain't even know I was taking the fucking shot. You asked the question. Slap the shit out of me. If you want to take a real shot, you get some Japanese whiskey. No, no, I did what I did. You know, I did what I did. He did his thing. He did his thing. All right. Oh, right now. Okay. They got Japanese whiskey. Yeah. Definitely drinking. Get ready. Woo! That's what you should have had. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Scarface or Ice Cube? Oh, no. Damn, dude, he got them all night questions. I've been sitting in this one. Like, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, if we got a drink, we got a drink. You got a drink for no, that go, one. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, you I got ain't a drink never for that between that one. That, that's rough right there. Ooh, yeah, that's right. a rough one there. Ooh, this might get rough, too. Yeah, poor lightly, sure. man. We gonna, it's going to be a while, so. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Outcast or UGK? Damn. <laughs> I love your honesty. <laughs> He's very skilled at this. <laughs> Shit. You got a drink, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a drink. Man, was, yeah, a... I don't know All right. if you going to... All right, now this... <laughs> now this one, it's, it's, I really I don't know where you're going to go with because you guys are kind of like in the middle. So, Wu Tang or NWA? Damn, man. <laughs> See, NWA was some of the most exciting hip hop that I had ever heard coming out. It was like, mm. what the fuck? It was like the shock. Mm. It was mm. the most dopest, most exciting shit that I heard. Mm. Wu Tang got me through some hard motherfucking time. <laughs> they they did the same Wu-Tang thing too. Got, in the, but no, nah, man, it was a certain feeling, man. It's a yeah. certain fucking feeling. Wu Tang got me through some times. I can't pick though. You got to take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what's the difference. You took your shot. No, I did. I'm gonna tell you what the difference is for me. Okay, I gotta hit this. I didn't know what Compton was. Hmm. Like, I was just like, what? I actually thought it was a jail. I was like, oh, shit. I never want to get locked up there. Like, mm. and so I was, I was younger. Yeah, okay. Um, but Wu-Tang, I, 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 visual, I visualized that shit a little bit more, but I, I wouldn't be able to pick neither. That's why I'm taking the shot. Now, let me tell you about being from Chicago. Mm. And, and see, because it's different. Because Wu-Tang, you can relate a certain way. Then, so for me, it was, it was us being in the middle it was the opportunity to hear the West Coast rap about the streets and me right. relate to mm-hmm. what right. they was talking about from the from the West Coast perspective, and I can relate. Right. And then me hear the streets from the East Coast perspective and right. being able to relate. So that that that's what I think that's dope about coming from Chicago, being a fan, right. is you got a chance to like it wasn't so one-sided like right. in Chicago on the same block you got arguments all day yep. about because this person across like, the street is a fan it, of this it, person on the west right. coast this person is a fan of person like on the side you know it's the midwest right the, you mm-hmm. know what I mean I mean I, I feel like I feel like they should, they should probably take the west part of it out and just pull it the mid like because y'all right Beth definitely like in yeah. the middle like you're not West Coast. Yeah, that, yeah that, the, the West yeah, part yeah, don't kind of make sense a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but, you, you, you know. you're not East Coast. You're your own shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're your yeah. own shit. You're your own. Um, all right, but let's, 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 let's. Jordan or LeBron? Damn. Well, that ain't real hard, Jordan, man. Okay. Jordan, that ain't yeah. hard. When you, when you, when you, you know what I mean? You know, when you've seen Jordan play. See, a lot of these people never even seen Jordan play. Yeah, see, I've seen it. They, That's the gotta, live game, yeah. not the repeat. No, the oh, yeah, live. The live. Like, no. Yeah. yeah, see, yeah. It, see, it, people. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. You got a bigger person doing something that this smaller person was doing. That shit looked yeah. incredible. Right. A six six dude doing it. Right. Shit, that shit was incredible. Rick Ross or Fat Joe? Oh, I like LeBron too, though. Okay, yeah. But uh, Rick Ross LeBron. or Fat Joe? Damn, man, you snap, boy. You better take. <laughs> <laughs> 
You done snap. <laughs> I really can't pick between that one. Them, them, I love both of them. Yeah, he snapped hard. <laughs> he would have been drinking too on that one. Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's a rough one there. Crazy Bone or Chip Foo? Damn. Chip gonna be mad at me, man. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna, we, we gonna holler about it later, man, but crazy bone, man. Mm -hmm. Crazy bone. <laughs> Hell yeah, crazy bone. Okay. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know we gonna go with this. Uh-oh. Mob Deep or M.O.P.? Mob Deep. Yeah, I like MOP too, but my Cubs man. or White Sox? White Sox. Damn. City gonna be salty. Up north finna be salty. <laughs> <laughs> podcast or radio? Shit, I mean, podcast. Podcast. Yes. This Jason. Chicago pizza or New York pizza? Chicago oh, pizza. Man, Come on. Yeah. I hate New York pizza. <laughs> <laughs> as he should, as he should. <laughs> Every time I try some New York pizza, I'm like, what this was? This was a Klingon food or something? <laughs> hey, hold on, let me throw one. Let me throw one in there. Good. Tech Nine or Eminem? Damn. No, you got a drink on that one. <laughs> yeah, you got a drink. These, these, is, these is my brothers, and then, right. then it's, it's actually hard, you know? Because right. they, they go hard, man. Yeah. Push your tea or Jada Kiss? I like Pusha T, but Jada Kiss. Mm. Yeah. Sauce or XXL? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> We're all dying over here. <laughs> XXL. Yeah, XXL. I like them both, but. Yeah. Al Capone or Lucky Luciano? Capone. Yeah, that's Chicago. <laughs> Capone, baby. Ooh. But you use Tech Nine already, right? Sweet, dude, if it's not Eminem, it's a different question. Tech Nine or Tretch? Tech Nine. Tretch is cool, but Tech Nine. Kanye West or No ID? Obviously, the producer. Kanye West. No ID, it's my man, but Kanye West. The Locks or Run DMC? Run DMC. I love the Locks, but I was raised off Run DMC. Right. You can't even put that out. Yeah. Common or Lupe? Damn, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a babysit with you. Good, <laughs> Woo. Them two cold brothers there, mm. right? Yeah. Sean or the brat? That's right. Both Chicago. <laughs> Are we drinking that? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, them, them, them both. Illmatic or reasonable doubt? Dang. No, I need to hear this one. I'm going to tell you the truth, right? <laughs> yeah. See, when you put the whole story together, then it's like, okay, okay. But when you talk about that moment there, right. I got to say Illmatic. Mm. 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 Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it's just, I don't know. I, don't, as you, yeah. it's, it's, I think when you, when, you, when you write in there, I think you're talking about the, the person that's more into rap versus the person that has a foot in the streets a little bit. Mm. And I think if you just all in your music, you're going to be more of the Illmatic fan. Mm -hmm. But if you in the music, but you got a foot in the streets too, right. you for sure going to be a Reasonable Doubt fan. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I think this is so much better than that. It's just at that time frame, I didn't have a foot in the street. I was going hard on rap shit. Mm 
Yeah, that's why I say about reasonable doubt too. It's, I don't say I didn't have it from the street. I just say I, I didn't have the money. Couldn't relate. You didn't relate. relate. He was right. talking about money shit that I didn't have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, I just see, see like, right. see, I, I had to get back later. I was like, oh, that's what he was talking about. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. So it was over my head. Like, I mean, know. shit. Illmatic was about the streets too, but it's the wordplay. Yeah, right, that, right. That the made skills you relate. Yeah, yeah, relatable. it was relatable to Super me in relatable. a different way. Yeah. But I got another one. Mm-hmm. Common or common sense? Damn. Which version of him? I would say common. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Common sense was my shit too, but definitely common. All right. Chief Keith or G Herbo? Damn, do I want to pick one? <laughs> I can't really pick between them two. It's okay, so you got to drink too then. <laughs> <laughs> we with that. Cheers. That's on you now. You shouldn't pick, by the way. Yeah, them two, it would, it would be hard, you know. You, you, I could, should, you know what you yeah. should have said when I said that? You should have said Shot Town. Mm. That's, that's basically answer. what he's been saying the whole time. Yeah, that's the correct yeah, answer. That, that, We've been drinking a lot based off of that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the Chronic or All Eyes on Me? Hmm. That's rough for real right there. That's rough. Woo-wee. Let me think. Let me think. You know what? I'm going to force myself to pick Mm. only because of one reason. No, you got to drink. No. <laughs> no, once I thought about the reason, I was like, nah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to drink too with that. Too. Yeah, both of those were like the, both impactful. Very, very impactful. Hmm. You know what, though? You drunk for nothing. I'm going to say the crime. Oh, shit, he's taking it back. <laughs> I'm going to say the crime. We all I'm going to tell you nothing. why. Because All Eyes on Me, you you know, it was more about Pac on All Eyes on Me. You had more, more things. You had some other things going right. on, but it was... More pop, whereas chronic, you it introduced was more of a body so many work people from yeah. the crew, you know, and that and that 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 assembly man was the shit, you know. So I'm gonna give it to the assembly over over something that was more geared to one person. But damn, right? Ooh. Well, call it or DJ drama. Mm. Damn, dog. Man, DJ Khaled, man. That's the yeah. last one. Yeah, DJ Khaled. You ain't, I want to, like, we always, I'm not going to even say nothing. I'm going to just throw it out there. You tell me what you say. Man. Loyalty or respect? Mm. Loyalty. Loyalty. Like to explain why? Um, I mean, loyalty of a person is loyal to you, they won't fuck you over. A person that can respect you will still fuck you over. If he got a, yeah. if he got a way to fuck you over, you know, right. publicly he can still respect you. But if he think he got a way to fuck you over and still looks like he respect you and not be known as the snake that did it, he'll do it. Mm. You know, he, he can do it. So right. respect still makes me have fear that of, of a person. I still got a little fear. You respect me, but you don't fuck with me. You right. know, you know, but loyalty that you can't you can't trade that for nothing. That's real. That's yeah. real. That's real. I always think the answer, the correct answer is both. I mean, but if you gotta pick one, you know. Yeah. yeah. I know, but in this case, we be wanting you to drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take a shot too. <laughs> you might as well finish that up. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel? And and um so you got a joint with Trey Songs. Yeah. Yeah. I got a song with everybody. Yeah, you got a song with fucking everybody. Mm-mm. Just gonna make it. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how was that? Did, 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 you, did your pussy game go up? That was more of the label. We was we was young. He was a young cat, too. Oh, like, yeah, he, he, he was help your pussy game go up? Nah, not with that record right there, man. That was a young cat, man. Oh, he, he was, was a young, young cat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so have you met the, the grown... Uh, Trey Song since then, like yeah, 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 yeah right? Trey is cool. I run into him every right. once in a while. Yeah, right. Right. Mm-hmm. God damn it, man, shit, shit is real out here, man. Let's take a Wh- shot. For which no which of the labels that you were on do you 
like, do you think we're the best ones that you were on? Or the best one that you were on? Because you were on quite a bit of labels. The best Were you on Rockefeller at one point? It, it didn't get a chance to happen. You know, this is when I was on Atlantic, you mm. know. But you so, had a chain. Yeah, because we was oh, going to make sure. it happen, man. You right. know, I, I had a, a a lot of love with the guys, you know. Uh-huh. You know, it, it was a dope relationship. Um, you know, me and Dame used to chop it up a lot. He was the reason I got on the, the Champions record, mm. you know. You were at, a good fit the time. Man. Yeah, right. yeah. So we was trying to make it happen, but you know, I was, I guess, too deeply embedded in my contract situation with Atlantic to to move the business around to make it happen. So, you know. So if it was that, because you were on Big Beat, which is you were on Big Beat, right? That record label, Big Beat. No, nah. no, nah? it said Big it on. Beat, what was it with? What was it tied with? I think it was tied to Atlantic. Atlantic, right? Prior. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Atlantic, yeah. Uh, Loud. So between Atlantic and Loud, which one of those two would you? Because you was at Loud when Wu-Tang came there, too, as well? And I was, was like the them. first... I think I was the first artist signed to Loud Records. First, first artist signed to Loud Yeah. Uh, Alcoholics was, very, was too, very right? first. No, nah, me first. You first. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then Alcoholics. Yeah. That says a lot. That's hard. Yeah. yeah. That's hard. Very first artist. Yeah. So, you see Steve Rifkin to this day? Um, When I see him, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that was hard. Yeah. When I see nah, him. Steve is cool. <laughs> Steve is cool. I, I, I always had a cool vibe with Steve. You know, niggas you know. got to tell his phone numbers nowadays. <laughs> like, you know, no? Yeah. No, I ain't got his number or oh, nothing like that. You know. He about to give I, it Steve to Steve would talk to me, man, if I reached out to him. Yeah, you know? right. yeah of course I, he would. You know, that, that's my man, yeah. This is what we didn't ask. Mm-hmm. No, but I didn't get the answer. So oh, between sorry. the two well, labels, which one? Are you st- You're not signed to Atlantic, so are you? No, no. Uh, I think, you know, I was on Atlantic the longest, you know. You know, I think uh, the, the the it was one that was first. You know, so Loud Records being that first label I was on, it's got that that first vibe. You right. know, but Atlantic I was on like like ten plus years, maybe something like that. Yeah. So this is a question we didn't ask: major or independent, and definitely why? Uh, independent, the, the freedom, and I think to each his own too. I think if you, I think if you have a system that works so you got your business people in play and you you know you you, you kind of got people around that can you know uh make your ship sail you right. know then you kind of can look more towards that independent route but i think right. if you like a new artist you don't really got anybody around you know to kind of give you uh tips or, or or show you the ropes then you might have to lean more towards major label and and your your attorneys and stuff like yeah, that yeah because you equally you're going to need people to help you take advantage of being on a record label, too, because yeah. a record label, you, you could fall through the cracks. Oh, well, yeah, so that's why I said attorney. Right, right. You know, you know, if you ain't got those people, then you know, all you can do is rely on people like your attorney. And stuff right, like right. That. Let's keep it real. You made a lot more money with majors. Yeah, you make a lot more money with the majors. So so that's the, the gift and the curse to it. You, you, wanna, uh, you want your freedom? You can move how the fuck you want to move, but you're going to make the money like this a little bit at a time. You right. want to make the big money? Here, you're going to make this big money, but you're going to take a little bit of whip cracking over here sometime. Right. <laughs> I don't know what whip cracking is. Hold on, sir. What is that? What is that, I ain't saying I'm going to actually hit you with it, but you know what I mean. Right, right. Uh, oh, okay, the, I get the, the it. Mentality, oh, I get it. Whip, whip cracking. You know, the, the, oh, okay, yeah, the, the mentality. Okay, okay. You know, some of that mentality sometimes. Mm-hmm. You got you to listen to what, what, what somebody else say, say and uh, abide by the choices of other people more. He, he, <laughs> what, I forget all yours. You always were independent. I always say independent. I think owning your own shit. Right. You know? Right. Having that. Well, you don't want no more shots? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think, I personally think, I, I think being independent before you go major mm-hmm. is always going to be the ideal situation because then you go into a major kind of prepared, self reliant, and then you can take advantage of that machine because the machine, for sure, you're going to make way more money in the machine. Yeah, but independent, you you know, if you if you could establish establish yourself independently, own more of your stuff going into that, this is gonna be a better deal, more leverage getting that deal with a major. Yeah, eh. I don't know. I think these days though, independent is, is the way to go. For sure, one hundred percent. No, no, he, he's 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 with the independent. Yeah. So I'm gonna um run through a couple of titles, and I want you to just tell me what they mean to you. Running off at the mouth. Running off at the mouth. That's the title of my first album. Running off at the mouth. Yeah. That's it. That's the first thing that come to my mind. That's the title of my first album. Uh-huh. Man, I was like 18, 19 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm calling down your yeah. album. So I want you to yeah, break down your albums for me. Yeah, that's that was that was that was that was how I came out. That was how I titled my first album. I was still thinking I was in the process of finding myself as an artist at the time. Mm. You know, so this is me getting my feet wet, you know, in the game, running off at the mouth. That's what it is. Okay. So resurrection. Independent. This mm. this is more independent situation. Upset that, that 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 this and that didn't go right with the label. I wanted to put this record out first. I wanted to be like this, so we doing our independent thing, and I wanted to go that route. So we it was way early in the game when I tried the independent route. And resurrection is like a body of work that I'm more uh, more proud of for the freedom, the freedom aspect. I got a chance to make the type of music I wanted to. Yeah. I'm bounce. I was going to keep going in order. Should I keep mm -hmm. going in order? Yeah. Yes, in the head. You do. You do a couple. Oh, yeah. I did the first two. You do the next three. Adrenaline rush. That's my one right there. That's the one where I felt like adrenaline rush is the one where I knew who and what Twister is, how I wanted to come out. What I wanted the uh, people to hear from me, you know. So adrenaline rush is the title come from. I, I thought about I like, what's it when they say I forgot. Yeah. When they say what you want to title your album, yeah. When it's like what you want to title your album, I think the first I asked myself a question like, man, what do rap feel like to me? You know, that's, that's the first thing I asked myself. Okay, what is rap to me, or what do it make me feel like? Right. Like it give me adrenaline rush. So that's where the title came from. It's like just the the way I feel about rap music, and I just felt like. I knew how I wanted to rap my audience at the time. I was like, this is when I made my mind up, like, I'm just finna rap for my Chicago people. Just what I see, just in my city. I'ma stick to what I know and what I do, and I'm rapping for my city. So Adrenaline Rush represents the 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 me coming fully into knowing who I was as an artist. Yep. The next one is Kamikaze. Riding the wave. That's me riding the wave, coming out with the next album. Still wanted to come with an impactful title or something that was hard, so I came with Kamikaze. And then I had a little more help, you know? I was able to, to, to make the type of music I wanted to make. You know, the budget was a little bigger. I'll talk about you it. Know? Let's talk about you know, it. I, I was able <laughs> you to, love the budgets. I love the budget. Know? Yeah, I yeah. love the budget. Yeah. You know? Fuck independently, me. Get a chance to, you know, do, like do this budget. record. Do this record. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that that's what that was, man. Kamikaze is me riding the wave. I had the success uh, of uh, you know, my, my adrenaline rush record a certain way. And then I had it was slow jams. I knew when Kamikaze was coming out, right. I already had slow jams on right. this record. So it's like I knew my shit was gonna be popping. So I was right. like having fun with the kamikaze joint. So that's that's what come to my mind is riding the wave. Yeah. No, I don't have it. Pull okay, up. uh the, the day after. Day after. Mm. Still riding the wave, but that motherfucker wasn't so high. <laughs> now, nah, nah, you know what I mean? So, so it budgeted a little less. A budget you know what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so putting, putting, together, putting together what I could put together with what I had. Right. You know, so, but, but no, nah, it, was, it was still dope. I was, I think I was getting a little, a little lost in that time. You mm. know, I, I was starting to, to get a little lost in what direction I wanted to go in at that time frame. So, mm. so I put that record out, but it wasn't a, a record that I was the most proud of or, or, or happy with, you know, energy-wise. Just everything wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. You know, energy, biz-wise, everything. So that record just, just was what it was at the time. Mm. Yeah. Now, I'm, look, I'm looking at the, at the dates, and then you have Adrenaline Rush 2007. Yep. Is this a time frame where you're feeling... That's 10 years. Right, like, yeah. what, is there a shift the, in what you're doing and how you're releasing rush. records? So, so yeah, so the, the later one is just a title that I was putting on some music at the time right. that I felt like had that same vibe still. Mm. And so we like, man, let's come with Adrenaline Rush 2007. I probably would have titled it something else at the yeah. time, so I think creatively I was just in a shitty space, and that's what I titled the project at the time. You know, so this, this is a... Uh, me still able to wrap my ass off, but shitty space titles and shit. Mm -hmm. Thinking, you know, not thinking as fully clear as I as I should have been, probably. All right. That's the last one? 
Category F5. Category F5. That's when I'm riding my independent wave again. You know, I, I love that record because I have some, some, for me, I have some, 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 some big records for me, for myself. Mm -hmm. I, want, I made some music that I wanted to make that sounded good to me. Mm -hmm. So the record didn't, didn't do what I wanted it to do commercially or, you know, success-wise, but as far as the body of work and what it sounded like and, and it being important for, for what it was for how music should sound and hip-hop should sound for Twister, that's what I was on. So, so I like Category F5. That was my Were you already entering the whole security and firearm industry at, the, at that point? I felt like that title would have been... Yeah, around this time, I'm, I'm interested in it. Around this time, right. I'm, I'm uh, you know, still having my concealed carry and stuff like that, but now I'm starting to entertain possibly being an instructor and stuff like that, you know, around you this time. You got gun camp, didn't, right? Didn't, didn't take it fully serious. Yep, gun yeah. camp. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's go through the albums and let's talk about yeah, I know. We camp. need to bring gun camp down here. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, then the Perfect really? Storm. The Perfect Storm. That was dope, too. That, that was me doing my independent thing. At this time, it's, 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 it's not, not as fulfilling to me, but I'm still loving music, mm -hmm. doing my thing. I came with the perfect storm, but, but like I said, just not fully what I wanted to be, you know, vibe-wise, energy-wise. So at this time, I'm just making music. I think I'm trying to find which direction I'm going in next around this time. You know, what you say? Huh? Well, yeah, I had that record on there, but I still wasn't as excited about the whole project overall. I, I knew that I wasn't in a good space creatively and just musically like I wanted to be. So I was just making music, getting through it, trying to see where I'm, where I'm going next, what I'm going to do next. You one of them guys that got to get away to make a whole album, or like you like to stay home? A little bit of both. Okay. For some reason, though, I, I, I found that I, I got to be... I gotta be in the, I gotta be grimy. I like to be in a grimy situation to make a record. Okay. For real, like I could go, like you know, we could go to L.A. and shit. I could be, you know, in the hills, you know, writing on shit. That's dope. But I would rather, I need, I need to, I need to be in some grimy shit. Like I feel like I'm gonna make the real music in a, in a pissy project hallway. Right. Maybe it takes you, you know back I mean? to when you like, started. I gotta be. I gotta have some element. Of where I came from, right? You would love DMX. Draw from, you know. <laughs> you would love DMX. Yeah, DMX we, me love. and him, probably would have been making the fuck out of some music. I'm Which goes you, good with the next title. Element. I'm telling you, uh, Dark, Dark Horse. Horse. Yeah, yep. That's that's my jam too, man. That's my, that whole project right there is. Uh, I'm vibing with music a little bit more, but all of these projects you naming are projects where. I was able to do what I do effortlessly, as far as making a song or. Do a verse or like, damn, he killing it or doing what he do, but just not fully being fulfilled with music at the time. I'm not in the space that I want to be, you know, mentally. So I'm just kind of making music and making records that I consider as dope, but still searching for what I wanted to do and, and be on still. Right. So I'm just floating through it. But but the records that was on there was was my shit. You, what, what records was on there? I got too many. Shit. You got you got, you got a what, crazy yeah, catalog, man. Yeah, yeah, yep, yo, yeah, the catalog crazy. Yeah, but, catalog but overall, crazy. when you say that title, that that's what I remember about that run right there is me having the capabilities of making music and doing some music that was satisfactory to my fans and everything, but not commercially successful as I wanted it to be, and just me not really being in a in a vibe and space that I wanted to be with music at the time, you know. And with the last two, yeah, you got Crook County. That was my joint right there. Crick County, because we started making videos in the hood. This one, this one we, you know, I got a few of my people around, you know. I'm starting to get, it, you know, a few, few of my camp around, uh, uh, a few of my gun camp people coming around, just a few different faces around. So I'm making music. We going around doing stuff in the hood. My man Beads around that I'm doing music with. And, uh, man, it was just, huh? Yeah, yeah, a lot of the homies from Chicago. I got, the, I think, then we shoot Crick County like in Harvey, Different spots like that. Yeah, so so Crook County was a record that was dope to me because I was in the streets with it. You know, mm. we was moving around in the streets, mm. having everybody be involved in the, in the music and everything. So so that was a 
dope album. That was a dope project for me at the time. And the last one is Summer 96. That's a very poignant title. Summer 96. What's on there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially working with DJ Ferris, you know, because he one of the big figures in Chicago. That's my man right there. So anytime you got him, you know, anytime you got him on, on something, uh, you know, it's, it's dope. So just having him be involved with that project and just keeping my whole legacy going was dope, you know. So that's what Summer 96 was about, was reminding people about when Adrenaline Rush came out, <coughs> which was the Summer 96. Mm. So, yeah. I think... I think it's time to make some noise for that. Ooh, good pool. <laughs> would, would nah. you, did you do it? You ain't never doing verses, right? Nope. Nah. <clears throat> no, that would be a crazy versus. I don't know who I would do it with, though. People always ask me, but I don't really know who I would do it with. Who you think? Tech Nine would be a good one. Who said that? Buster would be a good one. I think... See, when people say Buster, they just think fast rap. But I think we kind of, besides the fast rap, we slightly two different artists. You know what right. I mean? So I don't know. You don't, who would you want? I don't know. That's that's that's, that's, a, that's a tough one. Who? Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel. Uh, like two different genres. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I don't think that. it has Nobody to be. See that. You know? yeah. I don't think it has to be a, an even matchup in terms of what we think. It should be off. It should showcase two different styles. Mystical? Mystical would make sense. Mystical would be ill. Mystical? That'll be a dope one. Let's keep thinking, y'all. Come on. I'm in. Keeping on some Chicago Like a shit? Chi-Town nah. thing? Yeah. See, Crazy part of a group, though. You know, right. so. Not but Crazy was also solo. Right. Did you see mm. that? Did you see that versus with, with, with them in 3-6? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> That's great. How did y'all fix your problem? Who? With me bone, and uh, Bone? Yeah, yeah, Bone. Well, see, me and Bone, we had uh, mutual mutual friends. Okay. See, Lazy, uh, yeah, it was Lazy Bone. Lazy moves around a lot. He, he, you know, he got a lot of mutual friends that I got. Mm. And uh, in Indiana at the time, we had uh, our buddy named Chu. You know, he was doing a song with him at the time with his with his group and, and what he was doing. And then he knew me, and he was like, wait a minute. Y'all got beef or something like that? So yeah, what he did... Y'all was beefing for years, right? And this is on wax, disc records and all that. Yeah, this, you know, the style and, you uh-huh. know. So so what he did at the time was he orchestrated a song, and he paid Lazy to get on a song and paid me to get on a song. Right. Without so, telling y'all, yo, we're going to be on it together? Oh, no, Chu didn't care. He told us. You know, he said, I, I want y'all to do a song together. Ooh, I want, man, y'all can't be beefing. Ooh, ooh. And so once me and Lazy got shout together. Shout out to him for doing right, that. Yeah, right. yeah. That's so shout up. out to my man Chu for making that happen. And man, right. once me and Lazy clicked, it was over. He was so cool. Right. You know, we chopped it up. We did that song. And then I knew them was going to be my guys ever since then. Then mm. the next time I, I, like, caught a good vibe with them was when uh, we did Spit Your Game. For, uh, oh, big, yeah, big, the biggie big. joint, yeah. Right. And then I got a chance to chop it up with Crazy Bone and let him know how I felt about the group, you know. Right. And we just got on the same way. Because how weird is that? Yeah. Like in rap, like you know, uh, we'll, we'll go through shit like that for like two, three years, beefing with some shit. Yeah. We don't even really know. We don't know, and we making diss records. We doing all that, like yeah. Like like how weird is that? Like you know what I mean? It, like, that, that shit is weird. I'm gonna right. tell you what. what, what <laughs> what's weird is having the beef with 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 Tretch going on at right. the time. And right. this shit was so serious. You had we, a beef with Trudge? We yeah. had a meeting in Chicago about this shit, you know, because, right. you know, a lot of people don't know, like, that was one of the times where this was one of the reasons, this this is how one of the ways Twister got formed is wow. when, when I didn't get accepted right. from people that I was fans of. Mm. Right. So so Tretch said a little something on a record, you what know. Because yeah, I didn't understand where y'all where y- I, I, Bone I understood because of the the style similarity. Mm. So I didn't understand anything when I heard about it then, and when I when I reiterated and just uh, looked today. It's I old still don't now, so I'll but tell yes, you. Yeah, please, uh, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, tell them. Please, please, right. please, please. We had a a, a show in Chicago. At this time, they had formed the House of Pain. Huh. I saw Everlast because I knew him from, he used to come in the office at Loud Records. Okay. So, boom, right. we talking. He's like, man, let me let me holler at you. 
So it's old now we can laugh about it. Everlast said, you didn't hear it from me. Tretch dished you on his new shit. <laughs> what? So I go listen to the shit. Boom, 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 I'm listening. I'm waiting. I ain't hear nothing. Then finally the record come on. I put a few blows in cargo so you could tongue twist your ass back to Chicago. Ooh. What record was that? I forgot which one, but you can find it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you can find yeah. it. So I was a fan, though, at the time. So this shit broke. I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? So I'm pissed off about it. So I started After hip-hop parade, this is... Around that time. Yeah, like, dude, probably around that time. Lit. Yeah, they, they lit. Okay. Yeah, they lit. Okay, okay. They lit. Yeah. <laughs> and Trent is ill, yeah. man. He's an ill yeah. MC. But see, then I heard stories later, like, people used to see my video come on and then fuck with him. Like, oh, shit, dude, the fuck you up? So he got pissed off and he dissed me. So then we ended up having a meeting in Chicago because it was like, the shit seemed like it was going to escalate into some other shit. Right. But then the funniest shit happened. We get to... To New York, and we do the big ass cover for for Double XL with all of the rappers oh, yeah. and shit. In Harlem. We standing at, yeah, we standing on the street. Uh, Who the fuck walk up and shit? Right. Trench. Right. We like, oh shit. He said, hey, yeah. See, I told you, y'all in my hood now. It's cool. And right. he kept it moving. We was like, ooh. <laughs> wow. So you know, that's when you learn some shit. You gotta you gotta learn. This me navigating through the industry. This right. is one of the things that helped me learn how to move, you know. So at that time, we had got a little cordial before that incident. But had it been some 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 shit going on, right. that could have been me right there. You know what I'm saying? On, on that other end right there. That's crazy. That's We're crazy. Glad that didn't escalate. Yeah, yeah. And y'all worked it out. Y'all worked yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. Tretch is an artist I always wanted to do music with that he's, I never got a chance to. He's one of the illest, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What'd you say? Oh, 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 all right, cool. I can't forget you from Jersey. She's <laughs> Louise. You gotta let it go. What about Red Man, though? And Red Man? What about Red Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm a Red Man fan. So what's your favorite, what's your favorite part of, of the game? Is it, is it making the music or performing the music? Because going through your catalog, I'm like, this motherfucker can perform every day of the year. Just going through your catalog, I'm like, yo, yo, you could, you could do yeah. anything. You, you, yo, so, so, but I'm not trying to persuade mm. your answer. So hold on, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But um, nah. what, what's, your, what's your favorite? Is it making the music or performing the music? I think performing it. What's your guess? What's y'all guess? Yeah, performing it. I like making it, though, but I would say performing it is more my favorite. Yeah. Performing it? Yeah, yeah. You got to explain why. And, and wait, wait, have you ever spit something in the studio so fucking fast that you couldn't perform it? No, I, I, I make sure not to do that. Okay. Like, yeah, you know, when you, I try to stay truthful with the shit. Like, I try to, to stay within the boundaries of what's possible. Because the skill Cause is I don't the clarity go, in which your lyrics. Yeah, exactly. Like, like everybody got their own reasons right. for why they rap like that. But, but for me, it's not just about rapping fast. It's about how quickly can you do it at a dope cadence where you can hear everything? Right. right. So so when I'm making the music like that, like uh, I try to stay within my boundaries of what I know that's humanly possible. Like a nigga need to take a breath right here, so I'm gonna make sure, uh. you know, just, just stuff like that. So, nah, ain't nobody... so uh, sorry, I cut them off. So performing, performing yeah. it. Yeah, so performing, I like it better because even when I'm making music, making music comes from performing in my head. You know, when you when you writing these lyrics, most of the time, like a lot of artists unconsciously even realize that they place themselves in the fucking middle of a rap battle or mm. concert or something mm. when they coming up with the rhymes right. mm. and they look at the audience, react to the lyric in their mind, and then they say, yes, I'll go with it. You know, so a lot of my creativity comes from performing in my mind. So at the end of the day, to actually get to do it in person, that's what a full thrill mm. Make some noise for that. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you don't want a shot of this Japanese whiskey? This is that good shit. Nah, man. This doing me ain't good enough right here. <laughs> and let's just be clear. <laughs> the reason why you don't drink like that is because you're a gun instructor? Yeah, you're not like the dude. You're not like the dude that be in the car like this. Oh. Yeah, no, not, like, not, this is no. how you do this. You know this guy? You know what I'm talking about? The that, guy? That dude, he's, like, he's huge dude, now. He gonna, get, he gonna get somebody killed. He be like this. <laughs> if, a, if a person come up to you, you go, ah. Oh. 
Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about? No, but he's, I, he's he, a gun instructor. That guy's telling you how to, he's from Detroit. how to do martial arts his, or some his shit. His kid got to be up. You don't know what I'm talking about? The yeah, dude I know on, exactly on what internet? you're talking about. Yeah, yeah one yeah. of my buddies in Chicago is killing it doing, doing like, parodies of that dude right Par- now. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, so. yeah. Because he's he going to get somebody hurt. Man, you're not, you're not listening to him, right? We're not, we're not listening him, to him. He's right? a firearms right. instructor. Okay. It's different. It's different. Yes, yes, you, yes. You, you better not listen to him. Yeah. Explain. So explain what, what 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 he just said. You said you're a firearms instructor. Yeah. Just uh, like firearms instructor. Like so, if you want to get your concealed carry or something like that, or just do advanced firearm training, like tactical general. shooting. You do. So, you teach that. Yeah. Mostly. Mostly how to shoot in general. Some defensive shooting. So what if you had a felony? Can I still go? Oh man. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said you that. You know, we, we, we probably uh, can get you in a situation where we get some people to see if you can get it expunged first. Uh, and then after that situation, right. then you can. So right. we have had people that have had felonies before that got their record expunged and was able to get their concealed oh, carry. Yeah. Tell them to look so, out for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Niggas ain't got the hookup on that. He's got the hookup <laughs> on anything but expungement. <laughs> Holy moly guacamole. Oh, but, no. uh, I'm fucking with you. Um, nah, but... So weird. What made you get into that? You, you just you love firearms. I see yeah, you just I seen you like <laughs> have a whole rhyme about a gun. Yeah, just that's doing like a rap review. Like you have a you got guys that do gun reviews and they you know giving the description of the gun. So my version is like a rap review uh, right. of a gun that I might like or something like that. Right. But you know just really just so, passionate about the whole firearm stuff. So USCCA instructor. NRA instructor. Mm. How people are <laughs> visualizing Chicago as being bad uh, outside of like downtown and things mm-hmm. like that with all the things going on. Is it is it is it that easy to just get guns? And I'm talking about obviously. Yeah, I mean right. that's the problem. The problem is is illegal guns. Mm-hmm. That's the problem right there. Is, is is guns getting in the hands of uh people that shouldn't have them. You right. know, that's the problem. And I think you know, education is part of the key. Even though right. that's happening, I think when you re-educate the mind about a firearm, because we used to just growing up hearing rappers talk about, yeah, 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 you never really heard a, a person rap about a gun in a flyway or something, right. you know, something right. different. And so respect I think, for the weapon. Yeah, is, yeah, right. having respect for the weapon. I mean, you know, like I said, I do competition shooting and stuff like that. So right. I try to change the whole narrative and perspective about guns because I think education and perception is one of the keys to help stir what's going on the other way. You know what I mean? So, What are your favorite guns? Man. Pick two. An assault rifle and a handgun. Assault rifle? What's that? Uh, you, you ain't talking about an eight? No, I'm cool. Now, I saw you. You posted <laughs> this. this I, wanted, I wanted you to tell me how I could get it. The one that collapsed. An uh, AR? Well, Is that an AR? Yeah. It collapsed until like almost, it looked like. Yeah, it's called Folding AR. Yeah, the company's called Folding AR. And yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's a dope one right there. But uh, it, it's it's an AR that folds. It folds into yeah. like it almost looks like a handgun at one point. But you know, AR doesn't mean assault rifle. It's the first two oh. letters in the company Armalite. Oh, oh, so it's not an AR-15 automatically. Uh, a, it means Armalite Model 15. So uh. AR is just the first two letters in the company. You're not name, a Republican Armalite. though, right? I, I'm not in politics. I mean, like if he was, what does it matter? <laughs> I, 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 I don't we not we not associated. What does it matter? I'm I'm, I'm neutral. Yeah, I'm neutral with you. Yeah, I'm neutral. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! What you you you, you fuck with? Um, Joe Byron. Huh? Joe Byron. <laughs> Byron. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a Republican. Hey, what's that? What's that? What, what's yeah, listen, that Japanese. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Listen, man, uh-huh. Joe Biden is disappointing me, man. <laughs> that nigga ain't been outside, Slime. What's going on? I don't like, know at what's least, happening, man. But listen, I do not want to big up Trump at all. But at least you felt Trump. Like, you you felt his presence. No, one like, isn't outside and one was outside too much. That's, man, fuck they both, that. They both I, I don't even know I got a president. Like, I don't feel like as an American. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. To, come nah, on. He to outside me. right now with Russia. I mean, that Russia shit is real right now. Well, I'm, I'm definitely not rocking with what's going on right now. Right. You know, it's a lot of things, you know, going on that I don't like. I, I ain't really rocking with, with no situation just trying to take my guns away neither. You uh, know what I'm saying? There so, you go. But, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm, I stand up for the Second Amendment, so. Right. You know. So you're not, you're, not, you're not taking Joe Byron to dinner? No, nah, he can't go to dinner with me. Okay. I'm straight. <laughs> Holy Byron. moly, guacamole! This is crazy. This is crazy. But you ain't say the handgun. What handgun would you pick? Uh, uh oh. Yeah, someone's picking the handgun for us. 
the feds saying, it's, hey. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of choices, but right now I'm going to say staccato, man. I like staccato, staccato XC or staccato what? P duo. Mm. Okay. What what rounds does that shoot? What kind of rounds? Nine millimeter rounds. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a good one. So. CZ Shadow too. I like them too. Yeah. Holy moly! Now you got to join Hope with Faith Evans. Say it again. You got to join Hope with Faith Evans. Yeah. Yeah. Very dope. How y'all Shout put out to that Faith. Yeah, but, She's but, Drink but, Champs but, alumni. But, yeah. We love that's dope, man. How y'all put that together? That record, uh, Atlantic had a lot to do with that record. and uh, She was on Atlantic as well? Yeah, she was on Atlantic as well. Okay. And that record, uh, it was used for, I forget the name of the show, huh. but it was a family that wanted a home, mm. and the show was involved in helping uh, families get homes, and the little girl in the show liked Hope. It was one of her favorite songs. Mm. So we got a chance to kind of oh, take wow. that song a little further, which is really one of the reasons I made the song. Like, I'm like, man, I want to try to do something dope with this song, mm. not let it just be something normal, you know? Mm -hmm. So when she got on it and then we got a chance to get involved with that whole thing, that was dope, you know? So, yeah, I was vibing with that. And you also did a game show. Damn, did I? <laughs> what game show? It was, it, was, it was a different one. And I you did also a game did... show? Huh? Yeah, yeah true, true, something... True dear. I don't even remember that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you get a lot of money, man. You get a lot of money. Don't worry. We don't. We got drunk facts here. We don't remember anything here. Yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, <laughs> now I remember. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I remember. I was in and out like a thief in the night. Okay. You you, you fuck with that type shit? Like, because you also did um the Netflix show, uh, T.I., uh, The Judge. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you fuck with that type of shit, doing reality or? It got to be something I'm interested in, though. Mm. Can't just be like just off the fly. Mm. If it's something that I like or I'm interested in, I'm with it. But, okay. you know. How about podcasting? Yeah, if it's something I like. Right. Yeah, yeah. As long as the subject matters and fire shit. A podcasting about yeah. firearms. Podcast about firearms. Yeah, it's going to be lit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm let's, actually working on something. Right. Well, let us know that, if we can help. You know? So, right. yeah. But you just going to shoot shit up? No, I ain't just going to shoot shit up. <laughs> I mean, that would I'm be hard to record you. that audio. No, 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 I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Haz would hate that. I mean, I, I, you know, we do have a, you know, an outdoor range now, situation. I've seen you got an outdoor range. Damn, you know. And it's black people shooting. Yeah, yeah. Accurate. Black people shooting accurately and safely. And safely. Yes, sir. On the farm. Yeah. Is it a farm or it's like a... Yeah, it's a farm. And this is Illinois. This is not Chicago. Yeah, this is Illinois. Okay. She's the ways, Papa. Hey, you gotta come out and shoot with me one day. Can you? You, you can. I yeah. think so. Oh, okay, we can, can we bring check, it down here? Can we do it down here? Yeah, we can do it down here too. Yeah, we'll, I'll bring we'll the gun get cap down we'll, here. Yeah, we'll sponsor. We'll, we'll do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be fly. And not BB guns. No. Nah. <laughs> oh no. This is the, the rigor I, I got yeah. a few. You, you got some? No, you got none. I got hey, a few. Man. Hey man. I got something for you. I got something for you. Okay. okay. Now we need to bring out more things. Hey man. Hey man, Twister man, I ain't gonna lie. I, I feel like taking another shot before we let you go. You got you got more? Are we good? Come on, come on. Anybody else? Come on, come on, bro. Woo, cuz. You want to take a shot of this Japanese shot. whiskey and get your life right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take a shot. Of this. I, I will say this: is what. What advice would you give artists to have the longevity you had? Yes, that's very true. And to stay to to stay consistent with the style you want, you know, you you stay true to your style. That's the one main thing is really you nothing is more important than being really yourself. Cause you'll get caught up in somebody else hype fast mm. and you'll start curving your shit to sound like they shit and looking like you know, you right. know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you know, I know. Start, you know, so the main thing is to Stick with your shit, you know, and then you got to know it's a youth driven sport, too, you know. So when you listen to music, a lot of times I'll see when artists start to say certain shit is whack or they don't like certain shit. Mm. That's when you starting to lose touch a little bit. Mm. You know, what you as soon as you say that shit whack or I don't <laughs> like that, that's when your ass getting old. Mm. When it come to, you know, that mind state uh, of music. So I think some other shit is whack, though. I mean, you can't say everything's dope. I'm not saying. Every, I'm not saying everything is dope, but definitely not saying everything. When you are saying something is whack, that's winning. Then you gotta ask yeah, you why gotta is ask it yourself. winning? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's a reason it's winning. No, and, but it's certain shit that's a fad, a fade that you could tell they got they got a great six months. 
mm-hmm. and then it's going to go away. And then there's certain shit you like, I don't understand it. I might not like it, but I'm going to respect it. But then it's, there's this gimmicks going on. And not to say it wasn't gimmicks going on in the 90s. See, I was, the way I was raised on, mm-hmm. uh, from hip, I, Let's break it some down. Some shit is whack, man. Yes, yeah, that's some, some shit is whack. Because, like yeah. you know, some, yeah. New York motherfuckers is going, you know, it's whack. The shit is whack. And, and the, I came up off that of New York the New York motherfuckers would say era, that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's my vibe right there. So some <laughs> shit is just whack. Right, but right, but right. for the most part, mm-hmm. there's a reason why something is winning. Right. So if something is whack, a lot of times, even like I've heard whack shit, but then it'll be winning. So I'll pay more attention to it. Mm-hmm. And then right. I'll have an The aha. production could be dope. Yeah. The, the way I mean, this person is writing program, on the beat bro, is could be dope. Program. Yeah. We, you know what it is? We don't want to be that old nigga that turned into the hater. Mm hmm. So when we know that, so we so we don't want to be like, oh, look at that, you know, back in my day. Like, we don't want to keep being like that. So you say, all right, cool. And you, like, start participating into certain shit, and certain shit is, like, not right. Yeah, it's not right. It's not yeah. right. But you got to figure out, like, what I've always like taken as a... boys? No. That's different, bro. No. That's no, not even... That's, no, that's, that's different. That's different. That's different. I went too far. Oh, went you too went far. too far. You went too far. Went and too I feel, far. they cute too. I feel bad. <laughs> hey man, hey man, they getting money, man. They, hey man, they getting money. We don't know what yeah. they getting. We, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. You went too far. Yeah. <laughs> now what were you saying? What was he, what were you saying? He wanted to hear you spit something. <laughs> I've been sipping that shit. This is, this yeah, that, 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 that's that is it. That you know man, what that it is. Won't this come is out. Ace of Spades. <laughs> This is Ace of Spades. This is the finest from the Alps, Alp Mountains of, of, of everywhere. Yeah. It won't come out. This is what happened, yeah. Come and see me give it a bottom. You gotta be, gotta be up in the rhythm with a bottle with a level of vitamin and a bit about it with the pitter patter. What's the matter with that? Yeah. Almost, uh. bro. Okay. Watch out, Sonny about to grab that, put it on a verse with him. He's gonna spin on it. <laughs> Holy shit, that was hard. That was hard. So, do you still love the game the same way? Um, I love it differently. I wouldn't say the same way. Not the same way. Um, it's different. I would say I still love making music. I still love creating music. But what makes me love it differently is other things going on that I realize that I can take my music and bridge it with what I do, right? right? Even with the with the with me being a firearms instructor, mm. and just knowing that I could take my music and literally rap about the stuff I'm doing, like I'm telling you, uh, me doing a 60 second gun review, stuff like that, just being able to play with it. So the one thing with with music is, I think you have to find ways to keep making keep making it passionate to you, right? You know? So you got yeah, to, to to anybody, you know, you gotta sometimes when when you start to lose your passion for music. Try to find something else that's going on it's in like your life. Keep yourself that you can relevant kinda, to yourself. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, keep <laughs> yourself relevant to yourself, but also right. find what what else that you may be passionate about, and try to see if you can use some of that and put it over here with what you know how to do when, when, in terms right. of music. If you still want to do it, you know. You fell out of love with music before? Yeah, all the time. Oh yeah. yeah. Is it the music or the, it's or the, the music game? Or it's the game, yeah. Because yeah. the game is a the totally game. different thing. The game. The game. The game. Yeah. The game. Because the, game. I, the fans is always great. Yeah, so it's making definitely the game. Making the music is always great, but... Yeah, making you know, the music, performing, the, everything you is great. You know great, what's yeah. fucked up about it? Even having to learn the music business. Mm-hmm. Like, you would think, like, everything's supposed to be fair. Like, we all, you know what I'm saying, love the same culture. And you got to realize, damn, I can't even trust this guy. I got to actually... I actually got to read, and I actually got to know this, and I got to... You know, go through that? Yeah. What, was was that something you had to go through? Yeah. Hell yeah, all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, I had years of my life, or years of my rap career, shaved off from going through label drama, stuff like mm-hmm. that. So, yeah, I was like, to me, I was one of the artists that got the worst of that type of shit, you know, so. The worst of? Oh, of, wow. of label drama, or not being able to put out music or dealing with drama with labels. Yeah. You wasn't throwing chairs. We ain't here. Well, unless you was. You was throwing? Uh-huh. I wasn't throwing chairs. I might have threw a few words, but I <laughs> some harsh words, wait, too. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Shit. Did I cuss Craig out before? I might have cussed Craig the fuck out one time. He probably used to it. 
But he used to that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah he used to that. <laughs> yeah, you took your Japanese whiskey? Are we taking another hold shot? On, hold, hold on, yeah, hold, yeah, on yeah, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on, dog. What's the thing? This is the dark side. Cheers, you, cheers. You, you stayed, you stayed in, the, you stayed cheers. in the champagne section. We respect that. There's no sex in the champagne room. Man, how you mm. feel? So you and he pouring heavy still. He ain't learned, man. So you fuck with strip clubs? <laughs> eh, when we when we gotta go there, you know. So that's not what. What, 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 do, what do you do? Shoot you guns. Go, you go out there. You just shoot people. I shoot guns. Shoot, <laughs> shoot people. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't shoot people. Come on, man. <laughs> no, I said shoot shit. That's 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 your your version of fun. Like on a night where you can just go out, chill. You going out and you want to go to shoot. Oh, we probably going on a farm and shooting some ARs and AKs. That released a lot of stress doing that. You yeah. hunting too? Or y'all just... Not yet, but I'm yeah. about to start getting into some hunting. Yeah. Uh, hunting? Yeah. Oh, you going all in. What, 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 what we hunting, sir? Man. Like if I go out there and chill with y'all, once some, y'all, some, once some, y'all clear some, me with the army. Some boars or something. You know, like my whole thing, if I hunt, it's got to be something that, that's going to be for a reason, a good okay. reason. So Like that we could eat? Slime actually came through. He never comes through. Jesus, we love Jesus. Big dog, what up, big dog? Yeah, that's the hardest record. That's your brother right there. So, yeah, yeah, pop that. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't think of three people, we had it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what that's what we doing for fun. We going out. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, uh-huh. I'm you know, in my thing. I'm I'm training a lot too, cause you know I'm right. into the competitive shooting, so I'm always training and shit. Right. Yeah. So let's just be clear, cause I ask everybody this. So how much pussy you think you got throughout your whole career? Throughout <laughs> <laughs> your whole career, like yeah. I mean, you're not married no more. I googled it. Right, y'all niggas I mean, is good. I mean, I'm, 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 I, I still got a family and everything, so yeah. you know, okay. I probably had my fun in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you had and, some big, you, had, uh, uh, you know, you know, I know how it is having big records. You, I, your playlist was crazy today when I was going through it. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just, I was just calculating. I was like, you know how niggas count niggas money. I was just calculating the pussy that I think your finger popped. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we, we had fun. We had fun. You had fun? <laughs> yeah. You had fun? Come on. Come on. Till nah, like, we had fun. Give us a little. <laughs> no celebrities? No. Nah, oh, you nah, knocked no down a couple of those? <laughs> no celebrities. No celebrities. No celebrities. <laughs> Look, make, make some noise for motherfucking twist in my name. Come on, bad, my bad. I got crazy at the end. Don't worry about it. No, no you. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Your man ready to tell. Your man, look, he ready to tell. <laughs> he, he looking like, yeah, we've been outside, nigga. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, yeah, this is my cousin ready? too. This is my cousin. That's your cousin. Oh, yeah. you been yo, yo. So how how crazy how crazy is it? Oh no! Oh, oh yo, no! We off that like just oh, okay. just being. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's love, cause man. you know, I, like like we said, like you know, from seeing Shy Town. You know, coming from the era where you and Carmen and then seeing mm-hmm. like all this drill things happening and people are and then, you know, with the with the Kanye and even everyone, like the people having the light on your city, like you know what I'm saying? Like how how you how you like, you know? Mm-hmm. Like you've seen the whole process, right? You Yeah, pretty much, man. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He's getting a lot, man. It's very interesting. Uh huh. He taught a lot, you know what I'm saying? He took the school, you know. Mm-hmm. He's a good guy, man. And I forgot to say the brat, right? Did I? I didn't say the brat. Yeah, yeah. We talked about yeah, the yeah, brat. Yeah, no, that's I my girl. No problems. That's, nah. the, that's the homie. You know what I'm saying? Nah, the brat and Shauna, they're my sisters. Yeah. Brad and Shauna. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Got him drunk on my face. Oh, you? Oh, you drunk? Yeah. Oh, so you? You want another? You want another shot of Japanese? Let's take another shot. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's it. To end it out. Just one more shot. End it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go end it off, man. Yeah. End it out. I told but you not to pour heavy. Drink that douce. You drink that douce too. Whatever come you want, it's closer to you. Nah, the douce. Come on, drink well, you the want champagne. That, you want that Japanese? Yeah, yeah, come get that Japanese. Yeah. Let me get the champagne. Okay, yeah, let me get you the champagne, baby. Damn it, yeah. You can pop a new one too if you want. Nah, see, I, I see to you pop getting loose at the end. I see you getting loose at the end. I know what's going on over here. Yeah. Now we start. Oh, no, no, no. Uh. 
No, it's gym Yo, time. Once again, <laughs> once again, like I said, man, you know, we just want to give people their flowers nah. while they're alive. You know what I mean? And people, you know, every time you're in this game, people get 10 years or more, they want to tell you you washed up. They want to say, we don't want that here. We're going to pick up our legends. We're going to always salute our legends. Man, thank y'all, man. Give you to your face. And, you know what I mean? We ain't afraid to say, you know, our niggas is great. We're going to hold it down. You know what I mean? Thank you all for being a part of that. Thank you all for coming out. Yeah, appreciate you, know you coming. You know what I mean? Yanka dang, y'all got mean. Wow. <laughs> Let me just take some flip. Yeah. 